Hi, management class. This is Dr. Seiwert. This week we're talking about your chapter nine, which it says it's strategic planning, strategies, tra tactics, and competitive dynamics. So there's a lot hopping on in that chapter. So as a management team, you want to try to plan out your year, your month, maybe your week. Uh, a lot of companies are always planning, you know, week to week about what's going on. Some of the bigger planning might be left towards the end of the year or when it goes to a new year, if you're trying to do some new things. But as a manager, you're always planning, some, I think, something. So as I looked in the chapter, one of the five things you'll see as you go through business is Porter's Five Forces. And that talks about different things that happen as we try to put together plans and move them forward. For example, um, there might be threats if we try to do a substitute. You know, I don't know about you, but you know, there's some things that I probably won't take a substitute for. So if we, in this pandemic age, can't come up with the real deal, we have to try to do something else, is that a plan going forward that we want to do? Um, I think some companies might be better at it. Let's, let's just say, for example, Oreos. You know, they have their standard Oreo, but maybe they were going to do something else and it's just not going to work out in this pandemic. Would it be easier to substitute something they can get the material for? It may well be that that's the plan they make and that's the decision you're going to make as a manager. So um, quarters by force is very important in the management process. And then we talk about our competitive dynamics then. And... Um, It goes a lot with, I, I feel like with flow, uh, sorry, with the um, SWOT charts, our dynamics, um, you know, what are our strengths, what are our weaknesses, what can we improve on, that kind of thing. We're always trying to improve. Can we? Do we have a problem right now? Um, you know, some companies probably do with the pandemic, getting things to people. Maybe it's the shots. You know, how do we resolve this problem? This And so if there and maybe some of the other shot um, companies think there's threats because now there's a third shot. So you know, in, in that scheme, there's nothing you can do. It's a national um, problem that we have to get fixed. But as a company, maybe they think that. So um, like I said, as we're going through, we... Um, you know, we're going to, as a competitive dynamics, we're going to take actions and we'll get feedback from it. So um, I guess what I'd like to say is we're not static. We're always growing and we're always trying to make these decisions. You know, if you're a company that's selling something, get something else to sell or make your, a new product. That any way to, you know, get customers in the door. What is your management skill for that? Um, we talk about this in, when I do your... Um, discussion questions, which have been really great as far as our group dynamics and what, what would you say work the best. So, for example, if we had a, a strategy <clears throat> that we wanted to sell more Boeing planes, well, now we've had another engine flare out in the 777. So if that was Boeing's plan to keep selling those, there's a problem in that plan now. So now they're going to have to go back and find out how they're going to solve that plan. Yeah, having safer engines, yeah, I'd say that'd probably be a good idea. But it's obviously more than that. The, the engine's made by Pratt Whitney, so they're going to have to go through a, a large you know, process of tearing that engine down to see what went on. So all 777s can be fixed. Okay, so now we have that one out. So if we were planning to grow the 777, we've got our 737 MAX back in. So that's a good deal. <laughs> it's not quite the same air, big as the 777, but at least it's something. So uh, as an engine management, uh, as a Boeing management person, you can be going, well, God, thank God both, both of them are down, you know, because that would be really bad. And it turns out that companies are now again buying the 737 MAX. So whatever Boeing's done with their management plans that went into obviously technical and um fixing things, they've accomplished that, and now they can sell that product. So that's really the whole thing, you know, on our management, we're talking, you know, we can do things at a certain level, 
of course, but as they go farther up the chain with the, with the airplane, you know, it's going to go to the FAA, you know, to make sure it's worthy to fly. But as we, you know, in a company, we'll have different levels that we work on to get it back to that. As a company, let's say we're, um, um, I'll say that we are a restaurant. Well, maybe we're going to do a new pizza to get people in. And maybe we'll start delivering. So, you know, these are things that we can make at a management level and um, see if that'll help our sales. So it doesn't always have to be something super big like Elon Musk's X force. You know, it can be just our day-to-day -day thing that we just have to tweak or really maybe break, make over to make management decisions that a product should keep going on or maybe even stop that project uh, product for now. So management teams at many levels work on these kinds of things and see if they're going to make or break. And in the pandemic, a lot have broken. So anyway, like I said, we're talking about being methodical, researching it a little bit with SWOT ex uh, ex examples, analysis, and um, looking at data to for this decision, and that's going to be a little more, a little more to it as it goes up the ladder. So anyway, that and now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the um, test. Um, it's a the midterm test, hundred questions. You can start and stop it. It's fine. And of course, it's in your book. The answers. You need to have it in by Saturday or Sunday. I'll look and put it up in your what's what's going on part. And it has to be done before we go into the next final eight weeks, which it looks like is break. So yay. Anyway, so test coming up and um, I'll put that date when it's due in our in our what's next thing. Have a great week. Talk to you later.